Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. My new strategy on this channel is to start off the vlog looking just haggard and that way anytime throughout the week when I like put on real clothes and makeup, you'll think, who is this? That's my new strategy. So it's about 8.45 here on Monday morning and I am outside of my gym. I have been doing my personal training thing and back on the health bandwagon, eating really well on Weight Watchers, all of that now for a couple of weeks um, and I feel really good. The weight is still very slow to come off, but honestly, I feel so good that I am continually motivated to stay on track, do my best, enjoy moving my body, feeling good, all of that. So I am I'm going to head inside and get moving for this morning, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Um, but it's a beautiful Monday morning here. It feels like fall. It's just, I truly feel like I've turned over a new leaf in many different ways, and um, it's wonderful. So I will check in with you guys later today, but I wanted to say good morning. I'm about to go get moving. Welcome to my week. All right, it is the afternoon now. It's chaos back there. I'm just stepping up into the front room for a hot second. I had a great, great workout this morning. It was very challenging. I think my trainer is starting to clue into like how far she can push me without it being too much, but with it being much harder than I would push myself if I went to the gym by myself. Um, and so I like, it was a hard hour. In fact, there was one point and I was like, this is really hard. I thought, well, we've got to be wrapping up here in the next few minutes. I was 22 minutes into my hour, 22 minutes in. And I was like, I'm barely a third of the way through this. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, but it's great. That's exactly why I'm doing it this way because it's working, I'm going. I really enjoy it. I'm work, getting a good hard workout in an hour's time. So I'm currently going twice a week. Um, and the days shift around depending on schedules, but twice a week in the morning. And then I'm going to try to add in um, one of the gym exercise classes a third day a week. Um, I think that would be a really good goal. It would be awesome to do two of the exercise classes and so be working out four days a week. But I'm incremental goals are... The key to success for me so I've gotten this down we've done it for a little while it's working great for me now I'm thinking okay how can I add in one of the exercise classes either in a morning or in an evening just to get a bit more even a bit more um, so that's great it's crazy back <laughs> it's just like like lots of just chaos hi no no <laughs> anyway, um, I have a little bit of a headache right now, um, which sometimes happens after I work out if I don't drink don't drink enough water, but I'm drinking lots of water, so I don't know. I guess that, that still could be it, huh? Are you all finished with your lunch? Yeah. Okay, let's go clean it up. And check out our redone fireplace. I have been sharing step by step our vision for this and all of the steps of getting it to this point on my Instagram subscribers, which I was talking about in a recent vlog. Um, so you can go to my Instagram page, Polar Blogs, and click subscribe if you want behind the scenes type of stuff like this. But here's the finished product. I'll pop in a picture in case you don't remember or you aren't familiar with what the before looked like. Um, this lighting is absolutely terrible. That is not much better. It's just so yellow right now. In person, it doesn't look nearly that yellow. So we painted the shiplap, which was white. We painted it with a really, really dark charcoal gray, um, almost black color called Iron Ore by Sherwin-Williams. And then Riley actually retrofitted that mantle over top of our existing fireplace, which when you saw the before photo, you could see what the top of it looked like. And then he stained it and I just love the way that it looks with our couches and ottoman and the flooring and I think it's so pretty. So I have a few different, I, mean, I want to put a big mirror up at the top 
and I have a few mirrors that I've bookmarked bookmarked online. So I want to talk to Riley, see what he thinks, and um, then order one of them. And I want like a really big oversized mirror is kind of my vision. Um, we definitely do still have a little bit more <laughs> work to do. Um, this was me. Riley's a very neat painter and I am not. So I got a tiny bit of paint when I was doing the second coat of, isn't that just beautiful? Love it. Um, when I was doing the second coat of the fireplace um, up here. And so Riley, we had a court when we moved into the house from the builder of um, this neutral tone, you know, builder beige on the walls, but it's gone. And um, so he, Riley reached out to the builder to ask what the shade is. And so we will go pick up another little cord of it so that we can, uh, can do some touch-ups and a little touch-up right there too. But this one is a little bit less obvious because of the curtain. Um, so that is what we have been up to this weekend. It really, really turned out great. Um, if you remember all of that staining that was on the fireplace, I spent so long getting um, getting that staining off. First time filming in front of it. Love it, love it, love it. The way that I got the staining yeah. off was by using um, a power scrubber. So it was like a scrub head attachment that attached to one of Riley's power drills. Um, so it's like very forceful. And then I dipped the scrubber head in um, it's called the pink stuff, I think. Um, I think it used to only be available in the UK. It's like a, a Mrs. Hinch thing. I think that's how it got to be so popular. Um, it's great for scrubbing out all kinds of things, but I had never tried it before. The pink stuff. And um, it is just like a gritty scrub and it worked so well it worked so well it got off so 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 much of it it looks a trillion times better than it did um, and that power first i was using like our cleaning scrub daddy with just my own strength and it was not enough this is hard to get the top off with one hand you can even see the little marks of where i had dipped in the scrubber head brush but I, we bought this whole thing. We only used that much to get all of that staining off. Um, but I was originally trying to just do it with my own strength. And I was getting somewhere, but it was going to take a really long time. And then as soon as we put out that power drill with that scrub head attachment, sorry for the abrupt ending. I had to get Colin out of his seat after lunch. Um, but as soon as I started using the power scrubber with this stuff on it, it was just like the white of the stone. Um, or the cream of the stone started coming through and that like nasty smoky brownish orangish situation was like immediately gone so we will keep this on hand for the end of fire season um, if that happens again um, that staining had been built up over like seven years that we've lived here um, little by little so hopefully it won't get that bad again but anyway doesn't that look pretty? Don't mind the mess. But doesn't that look really pretty? I am ordering, like I said, a mirror. I am ordering a, a big rug um, for the ground in here. And um, we're going to try to get, I want to get a vintage old dresser to put back here and get rid of those things. Let me go check on my kids, but that is the update. This is their new favorite game. All right, the kids are in bed and Riley's out working and I just got the kitchen reset, the dining nook area reset, and then my current favorite little space, our den, all cleaned up and reset for tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys then. Good night. Good morning. It's Tuesday and I'm up at my office. I am preparing for a mentorship session that I have here in about 30 minutes with 
a mentee who I have known for many years now, so I'm really looking forward to reconnecting and tackling some of her questions and things that we are going to work through as she phases her business into the next level. It's really exciting. I did open up mentorship dates over the next couple of months. They are going very fast, so if you want to snag one, make sure to use the link below to go ahead and do that. Colin was up this morning at a very early 4 a.m. He was wide awake, playing, singing, laughing, jumping, just wide awake. So I got him out and we went and played for a couple of hours and then I put him back down at around six and he slept through until about 8.30. So it was a little bit of a rough night um, in terms of that, but it, it's okay. I had a big glass of water, big cup of coffee and a big protein breakfast. So I feel a little bit more refreshed. I also, more than being tired, I have just a throbbing, pounding headache this morning. Um, and so I did those things I just mentioned. <clears throat> Sometimes caffeine helps, definitely hydration helps, and then um, some good protein. I also took some ibuprofen and I'm up at my office now and I have peppermint going in the diffuser, which can definitely help me sometimes when I have a headache. Um, so it's definitely subsided, but when I woke up, I was like, oh, this is not gonna be fun to have a throbbing headache today. I'm wondering if maybe I didn't hydrate well enough yesterday or there's fronts moving in. I am pretty sensitive in terms of headaches. I feel like I have headaches, um, I don't know, more than some people, I, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to my final prep for this meeting, but I wanted to say good morning and happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a wonderful, I almost said Tuesday, but you're proud. You could be watching this on a Tuesday. If you're watching this on a Tuesday, I hope it's great. Hello guys, I am home from work. It's five o'clock and I am prepping produce right now. Um, we got a grocery delivery on maybe Sunday. We picked it up on Sunday, I honestly don't remember. But I just rinsed, soaked my grapes and rinsed them and now I'm transferring them into one of my Rubbermaid Brilliance containers that I love so much. And then I'm gonna chop up the uh, strawberries. Having fresh fruits and veggies just like absolutely ready to go for me is very helpful in terms of like mom life when I'm trying to feed the kids and I wanna add some fruits and veggies to their meal when they're already washed and just ready to go and I can just grab them. It's definitely helpful and then for me eating healthy and wanting to incorporate lots of fresh fruit and veg into my diet not having to rinse and cut every time is so helpful like i just cut up a cucumber so that when i want some cucumber i can just it's already been washed peeled and sliced it's perfect i love it so let me rinse these strawberries and then i will chat with you for a second okay the strawberries are all washed i soak them in a baking soda and vinegar solution for um, about 10 minutes or so and then I give them a really good rinse and then I store them in these containers and we go through two packs of strawberries in a week and they are we do definitely go through them but they never ever get moldy in these containers they are just like perfect all the way right up until the end so I just cut them in quarters and then when I give them to Colin I cut them up into slightly smaller pieces but Nora loves strawberries, so I throw these on her plate many, many meals, and then both Riley and I like having a handful on top of some yogurt or just as a snack, and Colin loves them too, so he gets them in slightly smaller pieces. So I'm feeling a little frustrated because I'm realizing that I don't think I will be able to get my... Blair Lamb designed a website up and running completely ready by Christmas. I just, it is just a big, big undertaking. And um, I just want to so badly, but I have to be realistic about what I'm able to do in a day. And sleep is a priority, even when I don't get tons of it. So I think I'm, I, I think tentatively I'm going to try for a uh, for an early 2023 launch. I can't stand putting things off. It really, really gets to me. But I just don't think I just don't see how I'm going to have the time to do such a big project um, while I'm also 
managing a big influx of Etsy orders at this time, everything with the kiddos, trying to get, you know, in the gym all, you know, two to three, four days a week. Like, it's just, I can't do another thing, but I'm doing my best. It's just frustrating when I can't do every single thing I want to do, even though I realize that obviously I can't. Um, so that's that. Today at work was very fruitful. I got a video edited and got several things worked on, answered my email, um, my emails, and I almost said answered my email inbox, you know what I mean, cleared out my email inbox. And I had a mentorship session with a mentee. Um, her name is Joanne. She's very sweet. She has been one of my online friends for years and we started working together about four years ago. And she started with a blog and has expanded. Now she has an Etsy shop and a YouTube channel. And you guys would love her YouTube channel. She does tons of Disney-inspired recipes, which are so fun. And um, she teaches you how to make them. And then she obviously loves Disney saying that. And she and her family just got back from a trip with her twin boys. And she sh is sharing videos about what she packed. And then she's sharing, you know, traveling to Disney videos, first day videos, second day videos. So, I will leave a link to Joanne's channel below. Um, definitely go and check her out if you are a Disney lover. And she has, like I said, she has twin sons and one of her sons has autism and she talks a lot about parenting a child with autism and the different um, aspects of that. And I know that there's a, a, she's grown this community on her channel around that as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you go and check her out. Um, it's always nice to hang out with her, talk to her, because it's uh, we've had a relationship now for years online, and I love I love it. So there's a mushy one. Got to get rid of that one. One thing that I was not anticipating with getting back into the gym was how fatigued and exhausted my body was going to be. I feel like I should have been aware of that, but I just really wasn't. I don't know what Charlie's barking at. Um, I really was not expecting, I'm so tired. <laughs> My whole body just aches um, and I am just exhausted. But I know that that will subside as my body gets more used to, um, you know, working out and my trainer's really starting to push me harder and harder and so I know that it will level out and it feels really good but it's just a challenge to care for two little kids and everything else when I am like run ragged. Also, Colin was up around 4 a.m. this morning, so that definitely did not help the case. But that's a that's the story there. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> but I have when I signed up for my membership, renewed my membership at the gym, I renewed Riley's too, so he's been going too. So we're in it together, which is really fun. I'll check in with you guys in a little while. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning. I apologize if you hear Nora has a toy with her and she's pushing the buttons. Um, we are heading out to a new thing that my friend just started and she's calling it Forest Friends. And we're meeting at different parks and walking and she's doing a little nature related lesson. Last time it was about tree bark. I don't know what she has up her sleeve this time, but she's starting it because the weather's starting to get cooler. Um, but it's 8.45 right now and we're meant to be there by 9. So I need to get going. Um, but I just have the best friends they're so great and so I'm really looking forward to it I'm sure the kids will love it I packed up my stroller I've got my walking shoes on it's gonna be really great so we are off to forest friends on this Wednesday morning All right, we are back from our forest friends adventure and um, the kids are both napping. I just fed them lunch and I just tidied up our back room. Isn't it so pretty? So our future plans back here are, I am shopping for a large oversized vintage mirror for the mantle um, to hang up above the fireplace. And then we are gonna mount this TV on the wall and I think 
get rid of that console under it um, because right now it just has kids books in it and DVDs and the DVDs can all go because we don't, I mean, really no one uses DVDs anymore, which is so wild to say. Um, so we're just going to mount the TV and mount the sound bar and hopefully have, because we use a Roku, which is just plugged into the back of the TV. So we don't even need like a cable box or anything. Those two things down there are a Wii, which we do not use anymore, and a DVD player, which like I said, we'll keep on hand, but we don't use it. And then that's an Xbox. Um, so that's the plan. Mount the TV, get rid of the stuff underneath it. I would like to get new curtains. I'm thinking maybe a velvet mustard golden curtain. Wouldn't that be pretty against that black with the charcoal? Maybe something like that. Um, or maybe even just like a velvet taupe. I'd really like the idea of velvet back here. I think that'd be really pretty. Now, this is my least favorite spot in the house right now. Um, it's just cluttered and obnoxious, and I really every time I walk by it, I want something different. So what I want to do, take down all those frames, get rid of everything, start fresh, and buy off of Facebook Marketplace or perhaps a um, from a local secondhand shop or something a vintage large dark wood dresser to go here that's like pretty long um, and then get two taller lamps to go on either end of it and um, reallocate all of this stuff to somewhere else and if it's a dresser and it has storage then like all of Nora's coloring stuff can go in there all of our computer paper can go in there like all of that so that's sort of my plan and then get some art um, for above maybe like a big canvas of one of our favorite family photos or something like that. Then I want to take the rest of the paint that the iron ore paint, which is that dark charcoal gray black color that is behind this color. Um, and I want to paint this dining nook that color. I think it would be really pretty. It would like really accentuate the archway. So I would paint this little thin wall here all up here, all behind here, and then this little one that comes out here. I'm not sure if I would paint this one too. I think I might do it like this. I'm not sure yet, but I think that would be really, really pretty. I think I love those frames still, so those would really pop against it. I also am shopping for a rug for back here. Um, I have it narrowed down to a couple of different selections, so I have to choose one and order it. And then a, we have a fan back here, but we never ever use a fan back here. And um, I've been searching for some really pretty light fixtures to go back here. So it's gonna be like a whole revamped space, which I'm really, really looking forward to. And um, it already looks great, if I do say so myself, but I think it's gonna look even better when I get rid of all this clutter, do it, you know, all those things I just said. So that is kind of what we've been up to in the den. One of my friends who was at our forest friends gathering this morning brought me. She was at this Sunday. Rachel, if you watched last week's um, House of Color color analysis video, um, Rachel, who we were at her house, so she was so showing off her closet. She's so wonderful. Well, she went through her closet one final time and she got rid of all of her autumn toned things because she's a summer. And she was like, I got to give them to you because I was the only one of the group who was in autumn. And so I'm so excited. I have these cool new clothing um, items to, you know, wear and enjoy. So thank you, Rachel. She's not watching this, but if she were, I would. I told her thank you in person. Okay. okay. So today I'm really excited because I'm trying something new. I have a friend who has a daughter who is just starting to dip her toe into babysitting. And she's the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest little girl. Um, I just really enjoy being around her. And so I asked her mom if she would be interested in mother's helping for me, um, which I, I, what I consider mother's helping is someone being hired to come into the home and help with the kids while the mother is still there the whole time. So it's not like solo babysitting. So she's going to come today for a few hours and do that for me and play with my kids and, um, I think it's gonna be really great. I think it's gonna be really great. So that way I have three hours this afternoon to do laundry. It's just like other toddler moms, no. I just can't get anything done when I am 
in like the only person who is taking care of the kids at home. It's, I just can't, I just, I can't <laughs> barely anything. Um, like I'll tidy up, like I just tidied up that back room immediately. They'll come through and pull things off the couch or I'll put away. It's just, I'll be trying to put away laundry and they'll be pulling it back out because they're two and zero. So like, of course that's what they're going to do. Um, but I think it'll be great because she's super excited to get the experience and make a little extra money. And I'm super excited that someone who is very much more well-rested than I have been in years <laughs> will be on the floor playing with my kids and I'll be still in the house making, keeping an eye on everything, but able to wash our sheets, fold our laundry, prep meals for the week. Just it's amazing what I can get done in just three hours time. So I'm really looking forward to it. It will be the first time that she's coming over is this afternoon. Um, and I think it'll be really good. I know she's super, super excited because this is like her first job, her first like gig. And she was like so excited that I asked. Um, so I think it's gonna be great for everyone. She gets to make some money and start her, you know, career of babysitting and um, I get some extra hands so I can get some things done and my kids get a really fun playmate. So like win, win, win all the way around. Um, I am going to pick up the house a little bit so that when she arrives, she doesn't think that she's, she's not going to be like, what kind of family is this? This part of the house looks pretty good though. But the front, you know how the front always is. So I'm going to take that, take care of that. But... I think it's gonna be really good. And if it works out well today, which I'm sure it will, then we're gonna get on a little bit of a schedule so that I have a couple extra hands on deck a few days a week or once a week or whatever works for her. Um, the kids are just gonna love it. They already love her, so they're gonna really, it's gonna be really good. It is about nine o'clock, let's see, 9.02, and we just got a grocery delivery. <laughs> Isn't 2022 amazing? Um, and I pulled out some of the ingredients that I ordered that I'm going to make a white chicken chili recipe tomorrow. So I'm just pulling it out to remind myself in the morning that I want to get that going. I think I just might even toss it in the crock pot, but we'll see. So I got that, and then I really got some more Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> he bought... Um, he buys this all the time. I think I already have another one of it, but he uses it for the chicken marinade that he makes, so he wanted that. Um, and then I got two boxes of the, the spice cake mix and then two cans of pumpkin um, because if you mix a can of pumpkin with a box of the spice cake mix and then throw in like some chocolate chips or I've been using um, this Lily's because it doesn't have sugar in it. It makes like the most delicious pumpkin spice muffins and um, they're just great. I got two sets of ingredients because one of our good friends just had a baby and it's her fourth baby. So I think instead of bringing her dinner, I'm going to bring her some breakfast food. So I think I'm going to make a dozen of these pumpkin chocolate chip pumpkin spice muffins and then a big egg casserole and maybe like a gallon of orange juice, you know, like that kind of like a more breakfast related thing because she has to feed, you know, she needs to eat, her husband needs to eat, and then they have three older children that need to eat um and then of course the new baby so i'm gonna keep this on hand text her she just had the baby i think yesterday or the day before my days are blending together but i'm going to reach out to her in the next couple of days and see if there's a good time um, i'm hoping to be able to get the uh cooking and baking done for her this weekend and then maybe drop it off on sunday afternoon um, i don't need to like make it a big thing i just need to go drop it off on her porch but i want to make sure she is going to be home so got two of those so that we can make some this weekend for our family and then also make some for their family and that's really all i have oh this is cute colin has so many teeth and he eats so much food and i was thinking i really need to start brushing his teeth at night is this not the cutest look at that oh He's such a big boy. So that's everything. Um, not everything that I got from Walmart groceries. These are all things that are going out to the uh, to the garage fridge. 
our junk drawer is still organized. If you remember when I organized it, it's been very functional for us. All right, I'm gonna go to bed instead of rambling on about nonsense. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. I'm sitting out front of the gym, about to head in for a personal training session in 18 minutes, but I thought I would check in first um, and tell you good morning, happy Thursday. The kids in sync woke up at 5.30 a.m. sharp this morning. Both of them woke up at the exact same time, and it was just a very early hour. Why do kids wake up so early? Like, I know they go to bed early, but I'm like, could y'all just, like, snooze for another two hours or so? That would be really nice. I'm sorry, I'm, like, sitting in a weird way because the sun, the morning sun is super bright. I'm trying to make it so it's not so, <laughs> so bad. Um, but I'm really glad I'm here, and that's all I have to say about that. Okay, I want to talk about my skin for a second because, look, y'all, I have no, no active breakouts. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Look, no makeup. This is like, I didn't even wash my face this morning because I'm about to go sweat. I'll wash it when I get home. Can you believe that? If you're new around here, I have been dealing with adult acne for a lot of my adult life. Um, I attribute the change in skin, I'm sorry, this lighting is terrible, um, to three things. The first one is I think my body is definitely undergoing a hormonal shift because Colin is beginning the weaning process from nursing. He is only nursing a few times a day, and um, so there's that. The second thing is that I have been eating more healthy foods, and I've been drinking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water, specifically lemon water, which I know is supposed to be good for your skin. So um, I think that's the second thing. And the third thing is I've been doing something called skin cycling that I read about online. And so it's a four day cycle. So on days one and two, um, it's all about like nourishing your skin. So I wash my face with like a creamy moisturizing face wash on days one and two, a good, like, especially at night, like a good overnight cream, um, just all about like nourishment. Day three is about exfoliation and not like St. Ives scrub, which, you know, like estheticians are like, stay away, but like, you know, chemical exfoliant. So I usually use some sort of salicylic acid based face wash situation and like exfoliate all the dead skin off um, on day three. And then on day four, I apply a retinol, which I've been using Differin and um, because it's over the counter and that's really easy for me. And uh, I've been doing the retinol sandwich method, <laughs> very technical term, where I apply my nighttime moisturizer and then a pea-sized, very small amount of the retinol all over my face and then a another layer of moisturizer on top of that. I've heard that if you have sensitive skin, that's a really good way to use retinol without, um, without all the flaking and the retinol rash and all that. And I haven't had anything like that. And then you repeat to day one. And I'm telling you, my skin has never looked better. Like it, I just, it's great. So, um, some people, you're, you're not supposed to use retinol while you're pregnant. And some people say you're not supposed to use it while you're nursing, but I did a deep dive on research and I found a lot to say that it was safe while nursing. So that's a totally a personal preference. I'm using a pea sized amount every four days. So that's what I'm doing. I feel comfortable with that. If you don't, then you don't have to do that, but that's what I've been doing. Those are the three things, not nursing as much. So I think my hormones are leveling out some anyway. I am going to head inside and um, she likes me to warm up by doing some sort of cardio for the first like five or ten minutes before we start. So I'm going to go inside and do that and be a good client. Um, but I wanted to say good morning. I wanted to talk a little bit about my skin. I've had a few people send me messages, which is really sweet, saying your skin looks really great. What have you been doing? Uh, because I know that anyone else who's in the same boat dealing with adult acne, it's a, it's really challenging. Um, and I would have gone to the dermatologist at any point and gotten some kind of stronger prescription situation, but I haven't been able to because I've been pregnant and or nursing full time for this coming January will be four years. Um, so, but look, this is my problem areas like my, around my chin, which is usually hormonal and like, we're really doing well right now. So that's the story. I'm going to go work out. 
I'll talk to you guys after. Hello, so it is the afternoon now, it's two o'clock. After I worked out, I went home and showered and got dressed in very comfy clothes. I was not feeling it today. I'm wearing like gray joggers and a black shirt, neither of which are in my autumn color palette. That was such a fun experience. I absolutely loved it. And um, I have been doing a lot of scoping out some pieces that I'd like to pick up. This is actually the perfect time in my life to have done something like that color analysis. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch last week's vlog. Um, because I'm coming out right now of four years of my body not really being my own. I got pregnant with my oldest, Nora, in January of 2019. So all of 2019, I was pregnant and then I gave birth to her. And then all of 2020, my postpartum with her was a dumpster fire. So it was a really rough go of it. And then I was breastfeeding. And then in January of 2021, while I was still breastfeeding, I got pregnant with my son, Colin. And then I was pregnant almost all of 2021. And then in October, I had him. And then it was postpartum. And now I'm still nursing him. And we are, you know, in the last bit of 2022. So it's been solidly four years of being pregnant and or breastfeeding, which I know a lot of women have the same sort of song. Um, and so my clothes have been just all, not a priority, let's say that. Um, whatever's most comfortable, whatever has an elastic waistband, whatever would fit me when I had a big pregnant belly or when I was postpartum and everything's just different. Um, just it just has not been a priority of mine and i've bought little things here or there but um, i just haven't felt my very best but i have just put it on the back burner and poured myself out for my kids because that's just what you do um, but now that you know i'm rounding out my breastfeeding journey with colin probably by the end of this year i would say he's just not he and Nora are very different. She nursed until she was about 18 months, but I don't foresee that happening with him because he's not nearly as interested as she was. Um, you know, my body's coming back to me. I'm doing my Weight Watchers thing. I'm doing my personal trainer thing. And with that, I really am looking to invest in fewer pieces, but more higher quality, better fitting, make me feel better type of pieces, certainly pieces that are in my autumn color palette. And I'm just really excited about that. It just feels good. I feel like I'm reclaiming a part of who I am as a woman and not just who I am as a mom. I've talked about this before. I love being a mom, but I'm not only a mom. And um, there are parts of me that have been on a serious like back shelf in the back of a dusty attic for the past four years that I'm ready to take back down. And th this is one of them. So this is not my best color. I need like an olive green or like a rust <laughs> autumn tone. Um, but I was trying to be quick, take a quick shower and throw on some comfies. I've been up here working on my computer all day, so it's no big deal. But I hope that over the coming months, you start seeing me in some of my more autumnal tones as I start to go through my stuff and donate, sell, and purchase, you know, some fresh things that fit. I also, it's like, I don't want to do a big shopping spree right now um, because I am hoping to lose weight. So there you have it. Um, but it's been a good day. I talked to my mom on the phone while I was packaging orders and we got to talk for like an hour and 45 minutes and um, just catch up and hear what else going on with her. I did order a rug for our den that we just recently painted, you know, the fireplace. I ordered this rug, which I'll show you when it comes in. I think it's supposed to arrive early next week, um, but it's really, really beautiful. I think it's gonna look great and really make that space feel more defined and kind of give it a little bit of personality. Um, so anyway. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about everything in life right now. <laughs> I have a couple more hours before I need to be home to relieve our babysitter, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the work that I am working on, but I wanted to do a quick, brief little check-in. I was telling my mom all about my color analysis, and she's completely bought in, like, hook, line, and sinker, and she wants to do hers so much, and I know that Allie, my sister, wants to do hers. Um, and so I'm hoping that we can be together when they get their stem because I would love to see. I think we're probably all three different. Um, 
I really do actually think we're probably all three different seasons because the clothes that we gravitate towards and our complexions and whatnot are actually all really different. So I'd be interested to see um, what they end up being. And that's that. Happy Thursday afternoon. Hello, it's like six o'clock now. I just ran to grab my camera, which I am filming on currently, walking over Nora's obstacle course out of the car. Riley's got Thursday night football on, and I thought I would show you, we're about to sit down to dinner. What we were having tonight, we were having, it's called Zero Point Weight Watchers White Chicken Chili. If you're on Plan to Eat, it's in my Plan to Eat account, um, but I will show you it right now. It looks so good, it smells, the whole house smells great. So here it is, the actual chili and all the ingredients in it are zero points, according to the title of the recipe. I should probably double check that. Um, and then I just have a little bit of guacamole and sour cream on top. Super yummy meal. Good morning, happy Friday. Large cup of coffee in hand, which can only mean one thing. <laughs> Daniel Tiger's on, the kids are playing. Um, it's 7 a.m., I've been up since a little after five with Colin, and then Nora got up around six or 6.30. Um, but it's been a good morning so far. I'm really enjoying my coffee. So we've got that going for us. I love diving into projects, and my current project, as you may know, has been our back room, our den, especially my Instagram subscribers know I've been doing updates like constantly about that space. So yesterday I did order a rug, I ordered curtains, and I ordered a mirror for above the fireplace, and I love the mirror especially. I think it's gonna make such a beautiful statement, I cannot wait. Now I'm looking for, Nora what? So I'm looking, so I've gotten those things taken care of. I'm also looking for um, a solid wood, large, dresser or sideboard for um, behind the couch, not to back up against the couch. Go ahead. Not to back up against the couch, but to back up against the wall and get rid of. We have all these random pieces. Um, and I found, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace this morning and I found two that would be great options. I prefer one over the other. One has more um, clean lines and it's, um, it's from the, I think the 1960s, it's like a mid-century style. It's really, really pretty. So the one option is a mid-century option and it's really beautiful. That would be my preferred piece and I've reached out to the seller twice now um, because I found it last night and then she didn't get back to me. So then again this morning, I was just letting her know like I'm still really interested. Um, and then the other, <clears throat> the other piece is not as clean of lines, but I actually think it would bring, I love having something like older or vintage in a space. I think it makes it feel so cozy and homey um, as opposed to having all like new stuff. So that's the story. I'm hoping that this weekend we'll get to pick up a dresser, get rid of all this nonsense, get rid of all this, and then just have one big, one big piece that would be good for storage too. And we can put some big lamps on it. I feel like that would be great. So this little space is coming together. I can't wait for the rug. It's gonna be so pretty. I'm gonna see if maybe Riley wants to mount the TV this weekend, mount the TV on the wall. Um, we spend so much time in this space, hanging out as a family. We used to spend like all our time in this space before we had kids and when it was just Nora and she was really young. Let me get you some Cheerios, but I'll make you some breakfast. Um, but now we spend a lot of time up in the front playroom area because there's all their toys are up there. I'm trying to open this Cheerio container. Okay, I am gonna get these kiddos some breakfast rolling here in just a minute. But I just wanted to say good morning, happy Friday. Was up very early, but feeling good about it. And I'm really excited about the progress on this room. All right, so I'm all dressed and ready for the day and I just pulled out my House of Color cards for autumn, which is my season, and I am going to go through my closet and put everything to the side. These are the garments that were gifted to me by my friends who are summers. So these are definitely autumn. I already checked against the swatches. Um, and then I'm going to go through everything else and just put to the side things that I know are not in the autumn color palette and decide whether or not I want to keep them. And then everything... Um, else 
will be autumn. So I'm not going to necessarily get rid of every single thing that doesn't fall into my swatches, but this will help me. A lot of the things that like, like this is not autumn, this would be spring. Um, I never like wearing this. I never feel good wearing this, even though I absolutely love this color. It's like this really beautiful, I don't know what it's pulling on camera, but it's like this pinky purple spring color. And every single time I wear it, I feel like I don't look good. Um, same with, here's another one. This would probably be well, it has to be winter because it's black. And every time I wear it, I'm like, mm, no, don't love that. So anyway, I'm going to pull those things to the side and we'll see where we get. I've got my two kiddos loaded up. It's a little after nine and we are coming to the playground. It's a gorgeous, breezy morning. And uh, we're, I'm going to let them play. And then we're going to go over to the zoo, which is adjacent to this playground. Yeah. That's right. We just got our tickets and we are walking into. You do? I do want to go see them walking into the zoo right now. Our small town has the cutest little zoo. We love it. It's a great place to come and we haven't been in a while. It's a statue of all kinds of animals. And last night we were playing and Nora said, I want to go to the zoo. And so I said, okay, so that's what we're doing today. <gasps> you see the flamingos? There's a giraffe statue. She keeps saying she wants to see the giraffes and they have lots of them here. So we're gonna find them. We have found the giraffes. Nora. Oh, why are you upset? Oh, you want to walk with them? We bumped into some friends. That was fun. We're just having a little snack here in this pavilion. What? Oh, it's a donkey. She is having the time of her life. This is the best pavilion. It's halfway through and it's just shady. And we always bring some food. Oh. How tall are you? Just about three feet exactly. Mommy, now your turn. My turn? Yeah. Just about exactly five six. Mommy, what? If you ever wondered how tall I am. You? <gasps> you touched <laughs> him. That was so cool. We got back from our playground zoo trip a little while ago and I fed the kids lunch and then put them both down for a synced nap, which is such a mom win. I tidied up our den back there and I just finished mopping the floor in here, which it looks so much better. It just gets so grimy right here where Colin's high chair is <laughs> um, because everything falls on the floor. So. That is all done, which feels great. And I think they're gonna take a long nap because they played really hard at the playground. Also, the um, mid-century modern console, I always say mid-century modern, but I think you would just call it mid-century because it's not a re, a remake, I almost said reenactment. It's an authentic piece from that era. Anyway, we got the dresser. We need to go pick it up this afternoon, but um, the woman said she hadn't responded to me yet because there were two other people in line in front of me, but both of them, the pickup times fell through. So we are next in line. So when Riley gets home from work, we're going to go pick it up. Um, and I'm super excited. It's a little bit of a drive, but I think it'll be really beautiful to get rid of all this clutter. Uh, Riley just got home with our new piece and I think it is so cool. Yeah, it's like true that. vintage mid-century. Really cool. And seeing it here... I really like it, but I think I want to use it as our TV stand. Riley's not sure, but I want to try it because I think it would be a really cool looking TV stand. Hey guys, it's about six o'clock now on Saturday evening and it's been a really disappointing and frustrating day because I woke up with a really terrible migraine and I haven't had one that bad since I was pregnant and, um, just kicked my bottom. <laughs> I was, I woke up and uh, really was not feeling well. Nausea and everything else that goes with a migraine, sensitivity to light and sound, and just like that throbbing, terrible. And so um, I got back in bed and I wasn't able to get out of bed until three in the afternoon. 
Um, and so I got up and took a shower. I did get up in the morning and drink some water, take medicine, eat some protein, had a little bit of caffeine because sometimes that helps take the edge off. Um, but I was still feeling pretty bad. So I got back in bed. Then I was back in bed until 3. Then I got up, showered. I did put on this sweatshirt, which is like one of my very favorites. Um, I love it. I will link it below if you're interested. Um, I have people ask about it all the time, but I just love it. And um, I was able to go out onto the couch. That's the thing about a migraine is like you're, you feel so poorly that you can't like you just have to be like in complete silence and dark. So it's just like boring. And then you're in pain. So there's nothing to distract you from the pain. Anyway, I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm just worn out. My body just feels worn out. And I'm just frustrated and disappointed because these weeks are long right now. And this past week in particular, there's just a lot. And I was so looking forward to a fun Saturday with my family. And instead, I was like holed up in my bedroom trying to get rid of this stinking migraine. So um, I'm feeling better now. Hopefully the worst of it is over and uh, I'll get a good night's sleep tonight and all that and it'll all be better. But I know a lot of people suffer from migraines. I thankfully don't get them very often, but when I do, they really do kick you down. Um, anyway, we did end up moving that mid-century modern dresser that we picked up off of Facebook Marketplace over to be our like TV console. Um, we do plan on mounting the TV above it, but I will insert footage of what it looks like as the holder for the TV right now. I think it's really beautiful over there and it really pulls the room together. Just totally refreshed and it has been a complete if you give a mouse a cookie situation because with every new thing that I've done, I'm like, oh, well, I want to do this. And so now we're making plans for our little dining nook and um, I already have some plans for the front room. So it's fun. One of the reasons why we're doing all this is uh, because we've been house hunting for two full years and counting and this whole entire time we have put off this sort of thing because we've just been thinking I'm sure we're about to move. There's no use buying furniture specific to this space or spending time and money painting or whatever else. And at this point, I'm like, I don't know when we will move. Um, I don't know if we'll end up building. If the building prices come back down, that's probably our best bet in terms of getting what we want and need in a home. And then that would be a while before. So anyway, we've kind of come to this point where it just feels worth it to make the home that we live in now exactly how we want it to be. And if we end up moving in a couple of months, at least we had a couple of months to enjoy it. And that's kind of our mentality. So I'm going to go spend hopefully a few good hours with my family this evening and uh, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Thanks so much for watching. I will leave links to everything mentioned below and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Quickly before I wrap this up, editing Blair here, I'm here to tell you that our holiday line is launching tonight if you are watching this video in real time. So it is launching tonight. Don't miss the launch. We have so many designs. We have Christmas designs, wintry designs, Hanukkah designs, New Year's designs. I mean, we've got it all. So make sure to check out the link below and I will see you there. Bye guys.